Most people, when you hear of Poltergeist, probably think, oh yeah, that's that film that was kind of cursed. And then you enter the internet into that and forget about it. It's off and skyrocketing and it has a life of its own now. It will never go away. There's a series of mishaps that happen that both believers will say uh, mean that there's a poltergeist curse. For example, on the set of the film, the little boy, when he's being strangled by the toy clown, the mechanism malfunctioned and he claims he was actually being choked out. One of the stories that come out of the original Poltergeist, which had a lot of tragic stories surrounding it and a lot of deaths, was Jill Beth Williams in a muddy pool full of skeletons. If you need skeletons to come out of a muddy pool, what do you do? Well, get some real ones, I guess. Some people think maybe the skeletons in the pool at the end of the movie were actually real skeletons from India. The poltergeist curse is often attributed to these rumors that they used real skeletons from India, and this is blasphemous, and they've desecrated these bodies, and it led to a curse. Whether that's true or not, I don't know, but I, I tend to believe that is true because those skeletons do look pretty good. 